My name is Abby Hobbs and I'm a final year textile student specialising in multimedia textiles and this is the making of my final collection. My final major project is called Parabellum, which is Latin for prepare for war. I was inspired by medieval warfare during the Renaissance era, so a lot of my primary research were influences taken from European armoury collections, modern ruins, battlefields and landmarks within the UK. There was also an underlying theme of women's empowerment throughout this collection, which was greatly inspired by Joan of Arc, an iconic female heroine who presented a tremendous amount of strength and leadership during battle, whilst in a male-dominated era. Throughout my project, I wanted to utilise both traditional and contemporary applications and materials, with a strong focus on handcrafted processes. One of my primary designs I began refining on for my development was a ceramic statement jewellery piece inspired by the landscape of a modern battlefield I studied in Oxfordshire, the Battle of Chalgrove in 1643. Embossing with both stoneware and porcelain clay, I developed two different sets of bangles, both glazed with a beautiful clear and oxidised metal effect. Using metal was also a significant part of my collection, etching and manipulating copper and wire to create statement jewellery pieces. These were all individual pieces embossed by hand and joined together into detailed textile designs, modernising classic chainmail and lamellar armour. Another time-consuming and highly intricate piece was my beaded design, which consisted of thousands of glass beads interwoven into a formation inspired by church windows. I visualised this design as a statement veil headpiece, but as a textile material, there are so many potential applications for fashion design. I worked on embossing natural leather with the heat press facilities, which I then embellished with using freehand embroidery. As handcraft was an important aspect of this project, I also wanted to produce a garment myself to use as a function for displaying some of my final outcomes. I wanted this piece to be a contemporary and minimalistic dress design which could be adjustable and flattering for all women. I developed my pattern design from scratch and after constructing a twirl design began making my final piece which was made from a white 100% cotton fabric. After hemming and backing the material for support, I laser etched one of my detailed digital designs on the skirt panel. This was a large scale, linear, observational drawing of one of the ruins I visited in Hertfordshire. By transforming the traditional features of Renaissance armour into contemporary fashion and jewellery design, I've designed a conceptual women's wear collection that metaphorically aims to empower the 21st century woman. Two weeks before the show, I organised a photo shoot to contextualise my final collection. Throughout my research on Renaissance art, I noticed that Joan of Arc is often depicted with a white horse, which is what I wanted to include in my imagery. At this time, the final preparations for the degree show were underway and all textile pathways cleared their workspaces, selected their plinths and mannequins needed for the exhibition. The week prior to the show, we all painted our props and wall spaces. It was then time to install our collection after the required ladder training, and we spent two to three days suspending our samples, mounting our photographic visualizations and displaying our final designs. And this is my final exhibition space. To the right of my space, I have suspended my embossed and embellished leather piece, as well as my handcrafted beaded design. In the centre of my dress, there is a 3D printed clasp design, along with my statement skirt print. Also on display are my oxidised copper lamellar, my porcelain and stoneware bangle sets, and some suspended printed designs developed using my drawings and Adobe software. I'm so pleased with the development of my final collection and look forward to seeing you all at the exhibition.